the United Kingdom has been engulfed in riots and violent protests across multiple cities, fueled by anti-immigration sentiments and misinformation. Tensions have been high following the Southport stabbings, which tragically resulted in the deaths of three young girls. Despite police efforts to quell the unrest, misinformation about a supposed stabbing in Hanley, Stoke-on-Trent, further ignited the chaos. In Manchester, a massive brawl broke out when a man allegedly threw a flare, leading to violent clashes between protesters and counter-protesters. Officers armed with batons intervened to separate the groups, amidst scenes of people tearing down fences and hurling objects. Similar unrest was seen in Hull, where tear gas was deployed after demonstrators smashed windows of a hotel housing asylum seekers. Protesters in Hull attacked an Asian man, torched cars, and vandalized property, resulting in multiple arrests and injuries to officers. Liverpool saw some of the most intense confrontations, with officers injured by bricks and other projectiles. A police officer was knocked off his motorbike, and several shops had to be locked down as the violence escalated. Counterprotests by anti-racism groups, including Black Lives Matter and Stand Up to Racism, have also taken place, often outnumbering the original demonstrators but resulting in clashes and further injuries. Prime Minister Sir Keir Starmer and Home Secretary Yvette Cooper have both condemned the violence, pledging full support for the police to take strong action against those responsible. Emergency talks are being held to address the public order crisis, with a focus on ensuring community safety and prosecuting the perpetrators of the violence. As the unrest continues, communities remain on edge, with widespread disruption and fear. The riots have exposed deep-seated divisions and the dangerous power of misinformation in fueling societal conflict.